Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center. Welcome back to Nick's Desk. We've got some classy new customs to show you today from Michael Zeba and Dogwood Custom Knives. Let's check them out. First up from Michael Zeba, we've got these stunning Master Chef cooking knives. This design was just featured in the recent issue of Blade Magazine. We've got a selection of stabilized maple handles. They all look really fantastic. This one might be one of my favorites. The steel is laminated. We've got a 52-100 core and 410 stainless outer layers. It features Zeba's original tumbled finish and a two-step patina here, darker on the edge and finer on the flats. Thanks to that laminated steel and these black liners, the tangs on the handles here just look really fantastic. Very classy presentation. And there's some really nice curl on some of these pieces of wood as well. So make sure to check out the photos before you pick up the one you want to buy. Also from Zeba, we've got the S3 Cookie. This is a Nitro V stainless steel blade with a stonewashed finish. Real nice hollow ground section here, flat ground at the tip. An extra large sharpening choil here so you can get right back on the heel of the edge. Titanium frame lock flipper with a machined pocket clip. The scales on this are really beautiful. It's a white resin lightning strike carbon fiber with copper thread running through it. Looks really great. And the copper in the carbon fiber picks up the backspacer, which has been carved away to look like mini skulls. And you've also got a skull bead as well. Just a really classy, really cool looking knife. Keeping things classy, we've got a few new pieces from Dogwood Custom Knives, including this Echo 5 and S35 VN steel with a hand rubbed finish. The handle on this is really interesting. It's actually paper micarta. So they print the layers and stack them up and align them perfectly so that this pattern runs completely through the handle so that as it's shaped away, you don't get any distortion. So you got a really cool American flag on this particular piece. Black and white paper with black and white G10 as liners makes it look really fantastic. This also comes with a hand-stitched leather sheath from Reliance Leatherworks, keeping things nice and secure. Next up from Dogwood, we've got this knife and pen set. Features a black leather sheath with a clip on this side. It can either be worn on the belt or in the pocket. The knife itself features AEBL steel, really thin at only a sixteenth of an inch thick with a flat grind. Would make a good whittling knife, good small utility, good office or desk knife. And the handle on this knife is dyed buckeye burl. Takes the blue dye really nicely and you've got a dog's paw pin and thin black liners as well for a little bit of contrast. The sheath also holds a matching pen that has another piece of that amazing blue dyed buckeye burl. What's really nice about this set is it makes those little everyday tasks that much more enjoyable. Whether you're opening a box or writing out a check, it really kind of elevates what you're doing. Last but not least from Dogwood, we've still got this amazing houndstooth and CPM 154 steel with the heat treat scale still left on the sides for a little bit of rustic look. It has a hybrid wood handle with this stabilized burl wood and resin in kind of a amber tone that really complements the burl nicely and it fills in some of those voids that are left behind with some nice micarta liners for contrast. This knife feels really good in the hand. It's based on a very traditional Finnish puko. And whether you're collecting or using, this knife is gonna be really great. Again, comes with a hand-stitched leather sheath from Reliance Leatherworks. So that's all we've got for you today. If you like what you saw here, you can find all of it at knifecenter.com. And keep coming back and we'll show you all the new stuff just as soon as it comes in.